up guys so in today's video uh, we'll be looking at what is CMOS and how CMOS works so if you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave us a thumbs up so let's get right into it so what does CMOS stands for <coughs> CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor right so this is actually a technology used to construct ICs and it's important in the sense that it's, it can be used to perform logical functions okay so when we talk about CMOS here, there are two important things that we should mention, which is the PMOS and also the NMOS. So this PMOS is actually a P-type MOSFET and it can be represented with this symbol here. And this PMOS takes voltage as input and has output down here. And for this, the closed circuit of a PMOS will give us a logical function of zero. Whereas, if the circuit is open, it will give us a logical function of one. For the NMOS, it is represented by this symbol here. And if we have a closed circuit, we have a logical function of one. And for the open circuit, have a logical function of zero so as you can see here this PMOS and NMOS actually works in opposite ways so when we say uh, CMOS or a complementary metal oxide semiconductor we can construct one using these two the first one uh, let's say we have a very simple uh, CMOS here which is the input with the PMOS here and we have the NMOS here okay so and we have an output here let's say we want to make sense of this circuit here now we know that this particular circuit takes in our voltage here and this is the ground right so okay I forgot to mention here so this is the um, output and this would be the ground for the NMOS so when you have a circuit here we see this is our PMOS and this is our NMOS so this is what we mean by a complementary metal oxide semiconductor so when we have an input let's say we have an input and an output let's say the input is 1 when the input is 1 we know that our PMOS here is an open circuit so there is no voltage flow to the output hence we'll be getting a logical uh, function of zero for as our output if our input is zero we know that there will be a flow of current our voltage to the output giving us an output of one so if we look at this it, it is actually an inverter circuit so an inverter circuit is where our output is opposite of our input and in other words this is also a NOT gate so if you remember your logic gates so this is a NOT this is our NOT gate which is uh, represented by this symbol here so this, so this is the basic of CMOS here and in our next video, we'll be talking about more uh, logic gates and how we can use CMOS to construct each logic gate. So see you guys in the next video. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you.